Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels, and this is a Moodle tutorial on how to create a new course. Uh, if you're a teacher like myself, uh, you're always looking for ways to minimize your workload. Moodle does a number of those things. Check it out. Uh, if you're having any trouble at all while viewing this video, please uh, steal it, download it. I make these videos to help you, so if you can't see it, you're probably not going to be getting as much out of it as you'd like. Uh, why am I doing this? Partly because I think schools should be publishing houses and teachers should be uh, knowledge center managers rather than secretaries. And Moodle enables both if you know how to use it. And that's what this tutorial is about, creating courses so that you can get more out of Moodle. Let's go take a look at it. You can see I'm already logged in over here. Uh, I'm using 1.53. Uh, very much like to get the 1.6 code, but uh, for reasons I can't get into now, I don't have it yet. So, I'm going to, as you can tell, I've turned the editing on. Uh, there it goes off. You can see turn editing off. I'm going to turn it back on. And there it is. So the editing is now back on. So, you can see course categories. I have a number of categories here. English, Computers, Yearbook, Clubs. Say with computers, primary, secondary, and turn the editing on. There it is. And I'm going to change this while I'm here because I just realized secondary. Uh, let's call this secondary first semester. Now I just added the first semester. I can leave the rest of these things blank. Uh, secondary students at UASD are using this site to manage their learning. Blah, 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 number of weeks. I'll set this. This is good to know because this will help me figure out what I need to be doing. Visible groups, enrollment key, uh, student, I guess you have the key, yes. Okay, maximum upload, teacher, teacher, teachers, same changes. Force language, yes. I have an international student body, but um, because it is an American school, we do speak English, most of us. Um, Yes, this meta course has child courses. We'll get into uh, meta courses here in a moment. Save changes. <clears throat> now, a meta course allows a teacher to create one course that allows everybody or all other courses to subscribe to it. Much like you would subscribe to a newspaper, you can subscribe to a meta course. And instead of subscribing, uh, you are you have power over the course now we're back at the course categories again and clubs yearbook computers again let's click on that and let's take a look at our changes there it is secondary first semester now I'm going to add a new course and computers course full name my course full name last time was UASD right there, UAS Computer Classes. Why I like Firefox, it remembers what I typed in before. And let's type second semester here. Second semester. Okay. Now something Moodle does not do very well is templating. It does not remember what I wrote here before um, or recognize necessarily that I've already created a computer class. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I do have to put a number here. Don't know what the number should be, so I'm just going to put some bogus number in. ID number again. I put some bogus data in there because it doesn't really affect me in so much that uh, my school is not. Uh, uh, I am not. I am the only person, uh, for the most part, using Moodle to manage my courses uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, namely. Uh, lack of computers and understanding of the reduction that Moodle affords a teacher in terms of reducing workload. Moodle reduces workload. Most teachers don't think about how to reduce workload. They think about how to reduce homework assignments so as to reduce their workload. Um, you can be lazy and a good teacher <coughs> and Moodle enables both. Um, to a certain extent. Okay, so write a concise and then blah, 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 this right. Okay. Um, I'm going to put something here UASD computer com, compute, I can't 
can't type computer class second semester. I'll put in more blah 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 later. Just want to show you how to create the course. Okay, weekly format, course start date. Let's see what today is today. Yes, course start date will be the 11th. Uh, number of weeks, it's going to run 20 weeks. Enrollment duration, yes, unlimited because I'm having students come in and out all the time. Group modes, separate groups, force. Um, I've already set up a bunch of groups. I hope I'll be able to maintain those groups. Force, no, not quite sure what the forcing does. You have a help button there. Uh, the enrollment key is 654321, just to throw a wrench into the works. Do not allow guests. Uh, I'll like it. I'll guess you have the key. Uh, hidden sections are shown in collapsed form. Hidden section, completely invisible. Collapsed form, because I want to see what they are. New item, news items to show. The news item, let's go take a look at... Uh, let's go take a look at the link. I'm listening to Pandora, as you probably noticed there. Go to my computer class, and I'll show you what I mean in terms of the news. Secondary. Um, and you'll note that I've not lost anything here yet. I mean, I'm still working on it, but because I've got, I can multitask, I can show you other stuff. Okay, so I uh, still have a problem here with the code. This is because uh, 1.53 and 1.6 don't talk together very well yet. So, uh, recent activity is broken. Latest news. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you see here in my news section, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I can set it to as many as I, you know, up to 10. Uh, yes, I want to show them. I do want to show grades. Um, this is a fantastic way to provide feedback to students. And the uh, the current, students' current grade should be posted everywhere. Every time they post, they should be reminded of what their current grade is, uh, because it's a motivator. That way, there's less less chance for students to say, "I don't know what I'm doing." Um, humans, animals are lazy. Humans are animals. Humans are lazy, and if they're not reminded of their current status, they don't do much about it. Show activity, yes, I want them to know what they've been doing. Uh, maximum upload, 50 meg, teacher, 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 student, 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 do not force, yes, I'm going to force English, I'm going to force English US, in fact. Is this a meta course? I'm going to make it a meta course. I'm going to make it a meta course so I can use it again in the future. Uh, save changes. The meta course forces a number of problems uh, on the teacher in terms of subscribing new students. You have to have a student subscribe to another class and then that class subscribes to this class. Uh, it's a little complex but it does work um, and you know, existing teachers. See this is where it should, Moodle should be smart enough to say, oh uh, would you like to use an existing template? It doesn't do that yet, but uh, hopefully it will one day. Let's do a search for my name. There I am. Now note how many different teachers there are here. Which one am I? Uh, well, I'm going to use I'm going to use this one. Add teacher, potential teachers. Okay, so uh, I'm going to save my cha my changes. It would go, you understand I'm pausing because I had three users there, um, all saying that they're my name. So I need to go in and clean house a little bit um, in my uh, my usage. So let's go take a look at the courses. I've created a course. Congratulations! I have three computer courses second semester, first semester. So there it is. And move selected courses. No, that's all fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And there it is. There's my big blank course. And you can see, again, these errors are because uh, 1.53 and 1.6 uh, Moodle 
there are significant problems in the upgrading between databases. Um, and until now, no one's found a fix for it. Uh, so that's the way it stays. Okay, so here are my new courses. I'm going to turn my editing on. And there it is. Uh, we have created my course. I have turned editing on, and now I have all kinds of stuff. List of all people, participants. I have no participants because my students have not enrolled yet. So um, that makes sense. I can't, unfortunately, go in and enroll anybody through a meta course. They have to enroll. Uh, they have to be um, pushed over. Um, see that people not in the group. I can't add groups from existing lists. Um, again, that's a, a problem. In fact, it means I have to recreate all of my groups that I created before, which is time consuming. Darn. So, anyway, um, we've created a course, we've created a meta course. It does uh, cause some management problems. But uh, Moodle is very good at helping a teacher uh, become more of a manager than a secretary, and that's the whole point as far as I'm concerned. So um, first stop after you've seen this is to go check out Moodle.org. Uh, you can check out my site at thinkingdistance.org. Um, creating a Moodle course is fairly easy. We discovered, or I discovered, um, discovered some issues with meta courses and enrollment of groups. Groups can be quite uh, difficult to manage, especially if it's a revolving door. Um, screencasts, do it yourself. I use Demo Studio. Share your wealth, screencasts, publish them. Um, really, the developed and developing world are almost equal. Most teachers are still using 18th century tools for evaluation and delivery of education. We can fix it. You can promote uh, technology in your own neighborhoods, especially recycling computers by building an LTSP network in your business, home, school, community center, retirement community, LTSP.org. I want to thank you for your time. Again, my name is Dan Daniels, and if this has helped you or anyone that you know, please feel free to send me an email. Thank you, and happy computing.